Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So the other day on Instagram, I posted a four wall palette that I am just loving right now for my everyday eye look. I asked you guys if you would like to see a tutorial over on my stories and you guys said yes. So I'm going to show you guys how I do this sort of like copper bronze um, everyday eyeshadow look with lashes, without lashes and my little lip combo. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so I am just going to quickly run through um, what I prepped my skin with, foundation, brows, and we'll get right into the eye look. So first of all, I cleansed my skin, and then I did a mask using the hydrating skin polish mask, and then I tossed on some Sotox for anti-aging. Um, around my eyes, I use Iorize, as well as some of my due date and you guys know I love due date love due date as a primer slash moisturizer before applying the limelight foundation so awesome so let's just get right into it all the products I talk about in this video I'll link them below as per usual so first of all I'm just gonna toss on my foundation this is my perfect complexion palette and the blenderful sponge and I'm just applying it dry because I get really good coverage when I do this. Look at that difference in just a little concealer and foundation. And normally I'm all for like dampening the blenderful sponge. I've always said like, do it damp, don't use it dry. And I think it's just because of the wax-based foundation, because it isn't a water-based foundation, that it just works so well with a dry blenderful. But that's just me. If you guys do prefer to dampen your blenderful sponge, do you, boo. I'm going to take my number one brush and set the highlighted areas with the translucent powder. And then I'm going to take this beautiful giant mama jamma. If you guys don't have this, it is wonderful for the brand new colored powder foundation. So this is, this is just going to give you a little added coverage. So I put that like everywhere that wasn't highlighted just to give me just a little bit more coverage. This is the number, number two brush. So give it a little swirl. Isn't it awesome? Like it's the size of my cheek. and you're done. Then the three well palette, you guys, you get this palette in the starter kit. If you guys were ever on the fence about joining with Lime Life, this is, this retails for $80 and you get it in your $212 startup kit. That's Canadian prices. Amazing. So you can build these and customize these however you want. I have my contour, my main blush, and then this highlighter shade that I put on the tops of my cheekbones. But you could do the contour, blusher, translucent powder, whatever you wanna do, you can customize it. That's what I love about it. So I'm taking my number three brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my shade. This is shade four. It's a little bit on the peachier side. If you want more on like the neutral side, do number three as well as number five. If you like a, a really like pop of pink, super pretty. Number five, three, and four. Those are my tops. And then dust that off. And I either take my number three brush or my number 19 brush and just pop a little bit of this right here. And it's so subtle that you can wear it every day and it's not like, dang girl, kind of being a little extra. Just makes your skin just look like it has a healthy glow. It also helps blend your blushers and everything, like just melts it all together, super nice. And then toss a little bit on the brow bone. Okay, that's it. We have our face all done. Now we're gonna go into our brows. Isn't editing amazing? <laughs> if you guys do wanna see a video of how I do my, my brows, I will link that right here. After you're done watching, come back, 
click this card and it'll take you right to my brow video. Now that that is all dry, I'm going to be using shade 13 right here, which looks scary, but it's really not that bold. And we're going to be using shade 19, which is kind of like a bronzy copper. And also shade number two and shade number one, those four colors, that is it. So I'm gonna take my, this is my Sigma E40 brush and go into shade 13. And this is going to be our transition color. You can give it a good swirl. Like I said, it's not, it looks more intimidating than it actually is. And so we're just gonna take and pack that in our outer uh, V and then just go and swipe it back and forth above your crease, especially if you have hooded, um, if you have hooded eyes. So again, take it, pack it on the outer corner and swish back and forth. And what this does is it's just setting the stage for um, that copper bronze color and giving it sort of like a nice warm base, something to blend into so it's not so hard to blend the darker color. See what I mean? Like a super pretty color, not too bold at all. Then we're gonna go right into, I'm gonna pick up a different brush here. I'm going to pick up the number 10 brush. You could go in with your E42 if you want to, but this one's just a little bit smaller and because I don't want the number 19 as blown out because you want it to transition into that kind of warmy orange color. So we're going to pick this up, tap it on the outer corner to get most of the product there. And then you just want to blend it again back and forth, just keeping it a little bit tighter. Okay, do you see the difference between that and this one is just a little bit deeper? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, then I'm gonna take my number 20 brush and just pick up some of that 19 and just smoke out the very bottom part of our eye, of our lower lash line here. So that just creates like a nice, it just like makes the whole look flow together. You could leave that off if you're not a fan. I know some people aren't a fan of putting anything underneath their eye. Leave it off. It just makes it a little bit more daytime appropriate if you're used to lighter colors. Then we are going to take this brush. I have a brand new love for this brush. This is brush number seven, huge paddle brush. And this is awesome for doing your eyelid because it takes up like, boom, you're done so awesome. So you can just take, if you want to make your color a little bit more bold, you can go and spray, spray your brush with your setting spray and then pick up shade number two. So this is kind of like a peachy uh, color and just swipe that sort of pressing and swiping on the inner portion of your eye. So it almost does like it's not a cut crease because I'm seriously not an honestly not a huge fan of cut creases, but um, it pretty much does like a blended cut crease for you. If you go like this, boom, and just let it fade. It's so awesome. Okay, so now you have it gradating into that awesome like brownie copper color. And now you want to go back in with a smaller brush and the brush I like to use is this number 11 brush and we're going to pick up that number one now and just press that in our tear duct so you can see that just gives you that little bit of a pop in the inner corner and then you can also take some of it and put it just on the arch of your brow okay and that just kind of lifts your brow a little bit so I'm going to do that on the other side That is it, you guys. That's seriously the look. We're gonna take and finish it off with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara, but that is very easy, quick and easy to do, especially when I'm not talking. I can get this done really quick. Oh. 
Okay, so here is the look with only mascara, you guys. And here it is with lashes. What do you guys think? And of course, I'm wearing the Ardell Wispies, not the Demi Wispies, the full Wispies because they're my favorite everyday eyelashes. Um, I will link them again down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. And then no look is complete without a lippy. So I mixed um, two of my faves. So this is the Dose of Colors in the color Sand. And this is Lime Life's Angel Food. And so I just put on the sand in a really thin coat and then toss the angel food on over top. And it kind of just warms up the sand color. It gives it a nice tone that goes with the warmth of this eye look. So let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments below. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up because that really helps my channel and I appreciate the love so much. Um, if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram and Facebook, make sure you guys go follow me over there. That's where you can find me most of the time. I've linked them down in the description box below as well. And if you guys do recreate this look, tag me in your pictures. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And I will see you guys next Monday.